All right, so this is the generator auto start stop box that I sell. This in particular is the two wire version. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what it is and what you need to know when you're buying one. So this box is designed to integrate between a Victron based system and a generator. This particular box is designed for a generator that is looking for a two wire signal. So for example, the Onan generators, they have a remote start stop function and there's one wire for starting and there's one wire for stopping. Hence the name or the term two wire. So this is designed to work with those type of generators that have two wires, one for starting, one for stopping function. So this box by default comes as a negative version. And what do I mean by a negative version? So the signal that this will send to your generator is being is a signal that's connected to ground. So when the generator sees that, that negative signal come in, either on the start or the stop wire, it will do its intended function. However, there are certain generators that are actually looking for a positive signal, not a negative. So if you have one of those generators that are looking for a positive signal, when you purchase this, you would just specify that you're looking for the positive, not the negative. So the negative version, this one works well with 12, 24, or 48 volt solar systems. And the reason being is because the positive voltage you send to this box, that positive voltage is being used to power the relays and that signal, that voltage is not being sent to the generator. On the flip side, with the positive signal of this box, it's mainly gonna, you're gonna mainly have to supply it 12 volts to this box. Even if you have a 24 or 48 volt system, that's because most, more than likely, your generator is going to be looking for 12 volts for that remote start or that remote stop signal. Again, to recap, the negative signal version of this works with 12, 24, 48 volt systems because that positive voltage is not being sent to the generator. In contrast, if you have the positive signal version, so this is sending a 12 volt signal to your generator, that's mainly gonna, gonna need to supply 12 volts to the box because that positive voltage is being sent to the generator. And if you send the wrong voltage to your generator, you're gonna fry something and that's not gonna be good. All right, so now the question is, does my generator use a positive or a negative signal for that remote start function? Well, let me show you a trick uh, to test if your generator has a negative signal. Now, before I show you that, typically what I've seen is in the RV environment, those Onan generators, those NPS generators, they're gonna typically use a negative signal. Obviously, there's some exemptions to that, but those are special cases. If you're in the marine environment, I've seen it where even if it's an Onan generator, it has a positive signal. So, Again, you're gonna to need to verify negative or positive, but the rule of thumb probably is if you're in an RV, you have an Onan generator, it's gonna be negative. So, but let's get me, let me show you the trick that I use if I need to determine if it's a negative or a positive. And when in doubt, Google's your friend. You can Google, look up the wiring diagrams, look up other schematics, and you can see what the manufacturer specifies for the remote start and stop function. All right, let me show you my trick that you, I use at times to figure out one, which are the wires for remote start and remote stop, but also if it's a negative signal. So in front of me, I have the good old Onan 5500. This one here is the gas. And so I've got my voltmeter handy here and I'm using the ohm setting. And so I'm just gonna clamp this here so I don't have to hold it. And I already have, this is, the remote harness from inside of the generator. So I just disconnected the pigtail, and now this is what's going to the generator. This is going to the remote switch on the wall. So what you do is, I take my negative lead, and I am gonna touch it to the ground wire that's in here. And I have my thing here. And if I hold and touch the positive lead, to the wire on the inside here, you'll get a signal. 
So it's priming there, so it's a negative signal. If I touch this other wire here, she tries to start. So that confirms it's a negative signal, and it also confirms which wires I need to tap into for the Gen Start Stop box. So there you have it, a demonstration of how you figure out one, which wires are for remote start stop, but also whether or not it's a negative signal. So once you get this box delivered, or once the box gets delivered, there's seven wires uh, you need to connect to your system. There's three that go to the Servo GX. There's two that go to the generator, and then your system positive, and then your system negative. Once that's uh, all the wires are connected, you just have to go in and configure the Servo GX with the Gen Start Stop settings and then it's gonna work. So if you wanna see how to configure it, I'll link the videos down below to the videos, the two videos I've done before, one on installing this box, but also two on configuring the Servo GX. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and I will definitely try to help you out as best as I can.